Hello, it's Danielle here from Declutter Life. I am starting a new challenge in 2018. It's called my No New Year. Now, what is this? It is when I'm going to try as hard as I can to not or to limit what I bring into my life, which is brand new. Um, whether it be my wardrobe, furniture, books, office equipment, um, plants, transport needs I don't know it's it's limit limitless what we what we acquire and I just want to try to also limit what I um, need for others to produce and also what I send to landfill so I'm going to try to see if I can get second hand before buying brand new or swap with friends or family or actually buy um, and make myself or yeah, or not buy at all. I don't know. There's so much. Why have I decided to do this in 2018? Recently went through a kitchen renovation and it was one of the first things that made me really consider how much I have in my own life, what I could put my hands on and also what I have sent to landfill before because of it's um, lack of utility to me and possibly now to others. And you'd think as a professional organizer, I would have had a really good grip on this. It turns out there is still stuff, there's still stuff in my, in my house that I didn't even know I had. And it doesn't take um, much to actually go through and see what we have available to us already. I think the other thing that really did inspire me was obviously the war on waste this year. What a fabulous um, expose that was to show us um, how much we do have at our fingertips in this Western world and what we send inadvertently or not knowingly or knowingly to landfill and the impact environmentally that has the other thing that has inspired me was the addictive um, excitement that I got when I decided to jump online and do more gum treeing and um, buy swap selling locally. And I found that not only could you get what you needed out there already from others who probably didn't need it anymore or was willing to part with it, but there's a great community of people that you can connect with in your yeah, locally, um, who have great stories and it's really passing on one thing um, that's been loved to a new lease of life uh, again so it doesn't go to landfill. So that was a lot of fun. And I just thought to myself, do I have to do it? Do I have to buy into this whole, um, you know, marketing of new and shiny and glossy? Or can I really take some time and think more about what I'm bringing into my world and what I'm letting go of, what I need um, and where I'm spending my time, energy and money. Uh, so anyway, here I am. It's the end or nearing the end of 2017. My challenge now is to actually define what the rules are around this. So if you've already started this no new year or if you've done this before or even if you've got some thoughts on, you know what, Danielle, there's no way you could use that second hand. You need to buy that new. Or maybe one of my rules might be that it's okay to buy it if it's um, consumable, if that makes sense. If it's something that leaves um, zero waste, maybe that's okay. I don't know. You tell me what your thoughts are because I'd love to, by the end of this month, have a real clear set of guidelines for myself. I'm also going to, through the year, share with you how I'm going with it, where the challenges are and what the tips are that I might be able to share with you if you're interested in doing this yourself. Anyway, please contact me. I'm at danielle at declutterlife.com.au. Leave your comments on my webpage or below. I'd love to find out more and keep you updated. And I really, really hope that I succeed in this challenge um, and maybe inspire you to do the same. Okay, got to get cracking now to find out how I'm going to do this, what my rules are. Stay tuned.